This is an influenza virus. This is the world. How can a virus change the world? Here's how. A virus survives by jumping from one host to another and hijacking its cells for its own malevolent purposes. With each jump, the virus mutates slightly. Enough mutations and our little virus can jump to different species. Keep in mind that influenza tends to jump from birds and pigs to humans, and industrial agriculture amplifies the problem by cramming birds and pigs together in generally nasty conditions. So let's say the virus jumps into a human host. Worse, this iteration is capable of jumping from human to human. This first case is called the index patient. He unknowingly infects other people around him. Those people infect more people and so on until we have an epidemic. Now let's say that epidemic continues to spread unchecked across the planet, like Bieber fever, but deadlier. This is called a pandemic. What happens when a pandemic strikes? In 1918, the Spanish flu caused 50 million deaths. That's more casualties than World War I, which happened to be going on at the same time. P.S. It wasn't just the old and weak. It was the young and healthy that got it the worst. But it's not always so nasty. In 2003, SARS was curbed before it got out of hand. But let's say a full-on pandemic did happen. First, public gathering spaces are closed. The forever alone among us may not even notice it. Public transit and international travel slow or shut down entirely. But what if it keeps going? The good news is you'll probably be able to spend a lot more time in your favorite sweatpants. Governments declare states of emergency and quarantines are established. Common luxuries like food and water are getting tricky to locate, so we're all enjoying the fine dining experience of MREs eaten with oh-so-elegant sporks. Private business slows, which leads to a global recession on top of the pandemic. And we have to endure the inevitable terrible aid song recorded by the most obnoxious artists in contemporary popular music. But fear not, we can do plenty of little things to prevent this worst-case scenario. 1. Wash your hands often. Researchers estimate that if everybody washed their hands regularly, a million deaths could be prevented every year. 2. Get your flu vaccine every year. Health experts create new vaccines each year to counter new flu strains. 3. If you feel sick, stay away from people and see a doctor. If you've got influenza, you can infect people up to 6 feet away. 4. Develop an emergency plan and stock up on supplies. That way you're covered just in case. For more information, check out takepart.com contagion.